Nowadays, people increasingly spend more time viewing images and less time reading. Every day, millions of images are downloaded from search engines, and millions more are exchanged via hypervisual social media like TikTok and Instagram. In this paper, we ask, does the rise of online images exacerbate gender bias? We notice that nearly all of the work on the spread of gender bias online has focused only on textual data, with several studies suggesting that gender bias is decreasing over time. However, our intuition suggested that gender bias may be more prevalent in images and text. For example, when describing a doctor in the written word, it is quite easy to use either gender-neutral pronouns or to avoid mentioning gender altogether. Yet, when presenting a picture of an actual doctor, it is much more difficult not to convey information about the doctor's gender. To compare images and text, we define gender bias in two ways. The extent to which a category is gendered, for example, the extent to which nurses are represented as female, and the underrepresentation of women across all occupations and social categories. We measure bias across billions of words and over a million images from a variety of online platforms, including Google, Wikipedia, and IMDb. We find that gender bias is stronger in images compared to not only text, but also public opinion in US census data. We also find that the underrepresentation of women online is much worse in images than text. According to the internet, most people are men. Why do we care? Because online images directly impact people's beliefs. To show this, we ran an experiment. Participants were tasked with using Google to search for a given role, like nurse, either in Google Images or in text from Google News. Participants reported significantly higher levels of gender bias after searching for images rather than text, an effect that lasted for several days. Our study suggests that the rise of online images can amplify gender bias at a large scale. Addressing the impact of this cultural shift will be essential for developing a fair and inclusive future for the internet. If you are curious to learn more, please read our paper on the Nature website.